You all know that racism is wrong. So why is it that you are racist towards animals? So prejudiced against them that just based on the way that they look, you decide you're going to point at them and ask somebody to slit their throat. That's what you pay for. It's kind of surprising that you even have the audacity to talk about racism, especially since you're the founder of this video, of which you didn't make an apology video to, you instead talk about why censorship is wrong. Let me play you the intro to this. Hello students, today we're going to talk about censorship and how censorship is dangerous. How censorship is dangerous, huh? Is that why you felt like you could just censor the comments? Even in this video, you also censor the comments. You turn them off. Isn't that quote-unquote dangerous in your opinion? Hi, I'm Lag, and welcome to another video. I'm coming for you. If you haven't figured it out already, today we're going to be talking about that vegan teacher. And no, she is not dead, surprisingly. Uh, also, I'd like to revisit one of the TikToks we just viewed for like a millisecond. This one. She says, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that correctly because, there we are. Speciesism is the first form of racism and both of them are wrong. Racism is to do with your race, not your species. It's literally in the fucking word, you moron. Anyway, let's continue. I'll choose some videos. This one I've already actually reviewed, but it's called Why Does... I can't pronounce his fucking last name, but at Joe, who has 18 million subs on TikTok, seems so oblivious to animal suffering. She obviously starts it off with a song. If aliens came to Earth and really wanted to eat you, would you say no problem? So obviously, an annoying start to the video because it's fucking annoying. Plus, I think the only way she can actually prolong this video to get to like 10 minutes maybe, or in this case 12, is to actually play songs. So, in my opinion, she's probably just doing this entire thing for money, you know? Um, also, a lot of people thought she was dead while this video was premiering at 12am, so in like 30 minutes from me. Uh, yesterday, well actually technically today, uh, this one was yesterday and yesterday, two days ago, two days. she's still active and uh, her channel's pretty kind of dead now you know, compared to what she used to be. She used to get the most popular videos, 1.9 million of the racist video that I showed you earlier. Something that reminds me of George Floyd. I'm kidding, by the way, I'm kidding. But that's got 1 million views, so yeah. And on her new TikTok, like I, like I was trying to show you, uh, this video, actually, when was this released? Three days ago, yeah. So, she is quite active still, and uh, on her TikTok, it seems like she's still f quite famous. As you can see, the views, they're not as high as they used to be, I don't believe. Um, but on her YouTube channel, it's practically dead. It is currently... No, not oldest, you twat. Um, it's literally fucked up, you know. Uh, 78 people waiting for her premiere, 5.1k views 21 hours ago. You know, a maximum she gets twenty to thirty thousand. Minimum is around like one k, really. Anyway, back to the video I was just talking about. Um, we're going to skip the song because it's fucking annoying, and no one likes her singing because it's shit. I uh, don't mean to be rude. Actually, I fucking do. Hello, students. Welcome to class. Today we're looking on TikTok at different people who are suffering from cognitive dissonance. Those are people who think that they are good individuals, but who are actually really unkind. Today, our focus is Joe Bartolozzi. Cognitive dissonance, yeah right. Uh, who the fuck are you? Sorry, I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Slag. I'm basically a more statistical version of you, and the S from the statistic goes on lag. So, Slag. Also, I'm a massive slut. So, bits. Anyway, cognitive dissonance, by Google's definition, refers to the mental conflict that occurs when a person's behaviours and beliefs do not align. There are other definitions online that have similar definitions to that and should be put up on, on screen as well. Anyway, it is clear from the videos that you will be shown, even from that vegan teacher, of Joe, that he does not have this disorder, as there is no conflict between his 
beliefs and his behaviour. He makes fun of animals in the clips she is about to show, but that has nothing to do with his beliefs, obviously. Even if he does believe some good things about animals, that doesn't mean he can't make fun of them. Just that's It's like comparing making fun, fun of some humans to hating or making fun of the entire human race. It doesn't make sense. He is making fun of specific examples of animals, not the entire animal kingdom. Anyway, thank you. Nice. Now get the fuck out. What do you mean, get out? What, what have I done? What do you mean, what have you done? You broke into my fucking house and started talking about cognitive dissonance. Like, just she was talking about that, but... What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Fuck you, you cunt. Bitch. Fucking cunt. You wanker. You snap. You know, I'm not gonna leave. Listen, just piss off, you fucking cunt. Oh, fine, fine, you know what? Screw you. I did nothing to you. You fuck off. Little Just little piss off for God's sake, you Malia. fucking balan. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, call me a dickhead if you want. I don't give a shit. Fuck off. Joe Bartolozzi has 18 million followers over on TikTok, and therefore he has a social responsibility to do the right thing. That means to stand up for the innocent animals who are suffering by the billions right now. Uh, one point I'd like to mention is that just because you have a large fan base or following, in this case 18.5 million subscribers, does not mean you have any responsibility to do the right thing uh, or encourage good acts. It has no meaning. People are responsible for their own actions, which means Joe has no zero responsibility for anyone else's actions and therefore doesn't need to kind of push the idea of good things anyway that was just a kind of like small point i just wanted to add in bartolozzi shows a fish out of water it has 3.4 million views joe has a perfect opportunity here to draw attention to the suffering of this fish but rather than doing so he ridicules what's going on shut the fuck up uh, a extra point i'd like to add on as i'm editing this video Again, Joe has no responsibility, and it's not Joe's job to kind of show what the animal is going through. It's not his job to point out that the animal is suffering. He just makes TikTok videos that people find funny. I find some of them funny, to be honest. And I like him as a content creator. So it's not his responsibility. If this was you, how would you feel if somebody put you underwater and wouldn't let you breathe? I'm sure you wouldn't like it. So why not draw attention to that? You have such an opportunity here to be an anti-speciesist, to help raise awareness of animal suffering. Joe, you should be vegan by now. Again, Joe has no responsibility to be vegan or promote the right things to do. And therefore... Shut up. One thing you'll notice about the vegan teacher is she also uses like 5,000 goddamn stickers throughout her goddamn videos. Um. I think it's just to annoy us, to be honest. I, do, I just don't know why she, like, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's not just here, but it's in her, like, fucking songs. My God. One, two, three. This is, like, a short version of it. And then earlier, Aliens, there was this. Hello, students. Welcome to part two of our class. We're still looking at Joe Bartolozzi and his cognitive dissonance. In this next video, he is talking about a little dog who is clearly sick and unhappy and suffering, but he manages somehow to make fun of the suffering of this innocent animal. It's really quite sad. This dog looks so old. So you can see in this video that Joe is making fun of the elderly dog. So he is not only a speciesist, but also ageist. This dog has no teeth and is clearly suffering, clearly unhappy. Shortly after this video was filmed, the dog actually did die. So Joe, my question to you is, why do you think that you have no empathy here for this innocent animal? Why do you think it is so funny to make fun of the suffering of others? What you're doing, Joe, is you are teaching your audience to be cruel and not to be kind to animals. Now, I haven't watched that specific TikTok of Joe's, but all he did, well, all of what you showed 
him doing was uh, him commenting on the age of the dog. Uh, nothing about the dog suffering. Uh, so maybe he might not have known the dog suffered or that it died a few days later, apparently, according to you. So your point about him making fun of the dog suffering is kind of invalid if he doesn't know the dog is suffering. And who gives a shit if you call a dog old? Oh no, the dog's gonna get offended because Joe called him old, oh my god. No, the dog's not gonna be offended because it's a fucking dog. Jesus Christ. Uh, before I get to the next video, another point I'd like to make is this. She says in the title to one of her videos, a stick, a lake, and a dog who only eats plants. But I'd like to point out that same dog is seen eating a rabbit. Or oh, I think she says in the video it's a rabbit's foot, I believe. Um, and again, <coughs> she is so pathetic. She is definitely doing this for views, and I'm falling into the trap. Luckily, I don't have that much of a fan base. I've got like seven subscribers. So the only thing that can really happen from me making a video about her is me getting views. Smart choice. Um, pick on old, like pick on bigger channels. I can grow. Nothing happens to them. The clip you're about to be shown is my live reaction to her Cocomelon like premiered video. Um, but what you're about to see isn't, isn't really Cocomelon, if you, if you look at it. Anyway, let's go. Holy shit. And stop the <laughs> I, I might have to blur that out. Holy shit. Is she comparing us killing animals to the fucking holocaust? Holocaust. Did I just say holocaust? Holocaust. My god. Uh, a little later in the premiere, you get this clip. Here's what it feels like to be pinned down and forced to be pregnant against your- I think that's kind of my kink. <laughs> I'm joking. Holy shit. One man held me down while another touched me. I was so scared. I didn't know what I had done wrong. After, I felt like I was nothing. They got me pregnant. Sorry. This video is from Peter, the company. Let me just fucking search this up. Um, oh, did I fucking spell? Seventy-two percent of the animals they take in. Forty-one, forty thousand, forty-one thousand. This is the company that kills thousands, tens of thousands of fucking animals, right? And they're going to talk about fucking. This is not. I'm guessing. Them money. Them, yeah, this is... I'm an object. They've called me bitch. I feel. This is... Friend. Yeah. Because... I am you. Only different. Yeah, so... The company that kills tens of thousands of fucking animals... Since... What was it? Um... Since 1998... Is going to talk about sexual assault towards animals. Uh, if you didn't understand my point, it was that Peter is kind of hypocritical. It wasn't about the fact why well, it was a bit about the fact that they were killing animals, but certain animals like dogs and cats and shit like that. Personally, I wouldn't. I'd cut the line there, but whatever. That 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 doesn't matter right now. But it's that it's hypocritical, right? A company that kills animals cannot, uh, then, you know, pretend to be good and pretend to care about the well-being of other animals. That, that doesn't work, alright? Like, if, if you want to kill animals, fair enough. Like, don't fucking donate. Don't just fuck Peter, right? 
fuck them. But the fact that they kill animals and then say, oh, oh we really care about the animal well-being, so we really, we really care about the fucking sexual assault towards animals or whatever, I don't know. Um, you know, that's just hypocritical, that's disgusting, like, Jesus Christ. You can't, ha you can't eat your cake and have it. Well, I think that's the saying. <laughs> I hope that's the fucking saying, but you, you get what I mean, right? You can't have it both ways. The woman was too stunned to speak. Why are there dead bodies here? Is this a cemetery? Why are there so many corpses here? Where is everyone's empathy? Why is there so much death in the store? Why do you think you need to buy it? Why is there so much death? Is this a morgue? Is it time to maybe begin? Is it time to try it? Yes, it's time to try it. We mourn the loss, loss of lag and, and decide. But be fair, it was for a great cause. Call to tell the tell the vegan to shut the fuck the fu up. Everybody is born vegan. So when they're born, they're born being kind to animals, being intrigued by them, wanting to see them and pet them and be friends with them. It's only something that comes later that their parents teach them by feeding them dead bodies. We are not born vegan again. Vegan being vegan is a choice, okay? And you cannot be born something with like a choice kind of because you can't choose to be something at two or what well zero technically uh we're born at zero and the more that these people hang out with us the more that they will learn and become vegan from your videos more people have probably gone from vegan to non-vegan meat ears normal people uh because of how shit you are and your videos are, um, and how toxic you and your community is, um, the community that actually likes you. The thumbnail for this video is called, Why Are There Dead Bodies in This School? Now, I thought she was going to talk about school shootings and why they're wrong, but obviously not. Um, fair enough. You know, in America, it's kind of weird. This uh, comment also highlights something I said earlier. Hello, everyone. When you walk past the school, what kind of thoughts go through your head? I want to shoot that bitch up with an AK-47, three hand grenades, and a massive dildo up my ass. You think about who's in there, all these young minds who are there learning, learning how to be good citizens. Yeah, yeah, most people do. Um, not in America, I wouldn't say, uh, because they're all fucking stupid. I don't mean to offend any Americans, but you are, <laughs> by default. Um, actually, a lot of people in Britain are also kind of fucking dumb. But, um, no, not, not as much as uh, you guys. You guys just take the, take the, take the plate cake, you know. Uh, a weird thing in America also that I've heard is that they praise the national anthem in the, like, they st have to stand up and fucking praise it in the mornings to that actual song. What the fuck? It, it just seems to me like America's massive cult. Holy shit. Um, and their ex educational system is also kind of failing. That's why she's stupid. But she's like on another level of fucking dumb. You think about the type of values that they're teaching at school. You know, to be kind and considerate and not to hurt others, right? Most primary schools teach that kind of stuff. But did you ever stop to think what else they teach in there? Like, what is actually in the school? Well, if you look at all the kids' lunch boxes, they're actually filled with dead bodies. Did you ever think about that? I hope you're talking about dead plant matter, because those are dead bodies as well. Plant lives matter, you bitch. Um, I'm joking, obviously. I mean, just really, the buses come in, you got all these kids sitting there, just picture what goes down their throat, what's in their stomach. Probably the gym teacher's cock. 
I probably shouldn't have made that fucking joke, but you know, whatever. So the parents send them to school with guns. Alright, this video is 20 minutes long. Uh, I'm done. I'm tired. Goodbye.